everybody. It's the Sports Chasers Podcast coming to you live and direct. It's currently 7.45 out in the east. 6.45 for my central people. 5.45 for my mountain people. And 4.45 for those out there in the west coast. It's the Sports Chasers Podcast coming to you live and direct. This is the sports show where we don't do hot takes. We don't do crazy things that make you lure you in. Yo, we just talk about sports and we talk about it authentically. No nonsense when it comes to sports, man. It's the Sports Chasers Podcast. Excuse me, podcast. Tonight, we will review week 13 and review in the NFL. A lot of things went on. The Steelers went down last night. They're 11 1. Miami Dolphins, the 72 Dolphins, hey, they're happy. College football, won't be no Ohio, Ohio State and Michigan this year. They're taking the high road. College basketball is starting up. We'll talk about it a little bit. The NBA is heating up. We'll see about what's going on with the NBA. And speaking of the NBA, James Harden. Hasn't showed up to uh, Rockets camp, but I just heard that he did. What's going on with that? Kyrie and LeBron James, they got a little back and forth going. Kyrie said he ain't talking to the media this year. Hope he got his paper stat. Um, with that said, yo, we're going to meet the crew. James Eric, the angry one. What's up, kid? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing, man? Um, we out here to give it to y'all live and direct here for the fans, baby. Let's go. Protective of the fans. That's what we do, sports chasers, dog. D-Dub, what's up? On the, on the come up. What's really good, man? Hey, guess who's in first place? <laughs> Yo, five weeks ago, he said... You got to do the voice, kid. Nah, we, we got to wait till later, man. You got to yeah. do the voice for that one, man. Who is in first place, my G? Three weeks ago, you said... Five weeks ago, you said... No, DA, what's up, brother? I'm that. <laughs> As we continue on, New York City. It's <laughs> good. That's just me. We good, baby. We good. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hey man, a lot going on this week, a lot going on. Uh, we're missing Mike, hopefully he'll be on shortly. Um, all right, all right, all right. Running them streets of NYC, baby. Yeah, shout out to Mike okay. in the Apple, doing his thing. I mean, hopefully he's being safe out there, man. Crazy. Now with the woo-woos and the choo-choos. No woo-woo, choo-choos, yo. They gonna end up behind uh, what, what's the the clinking sound of themselves, man? Clink, clink. They gonna have somebody up in their boo boo. That's they gonna have. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That. So we can't have state and sing sing up in the boo boo. Okay. Yeah, that's not what you want, man. Yo, but that's a whole nother conversation. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this goes left, man. Let's uh, <laughs> let's talk about. It. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it goes left quickly on this show, yeah, man. It'll, yeah. it'll, it'll go left quick. Yeah, you got a bunch of ADHD over here. Yeah, a lot of ADHD. Hey, hey, week, thir- week 13 review. Week 13 review, NFL. Week 13 right. review. Um, last night, um, the Washington Red, uh, excuse me, the Washington Football Ooh, Club. Get it right, get, get it right. Trouble. <laughs> Washington Football Club um, beat the- I, uh, I told y'all. Uh-oh, go ahead, D. Go ahead. Jump in, though. I told y'all, B. I told y'all when the season started, that defense is going to be serious. I told y'all by next year, it gets even better. Dude, they're going to be a problem by next year, B. I'm Just look at the pedigree of the cast. They got ball on that defense right now. With the running game, they probably would be the team that's 10-11-0 if they had that right now because it's, it's going to be – Right. Harder and harder and harder to score against those guys, man. If you want to break down the defense, we could do that on another show. But they got two dudes at Alabama that played two years apart on the line. They got Big Sweat on the right side. They got Chase Young in the middle. Oh. They, I mean, on, on the left side. 
You know, they got uh, uh old boy from Alabama playing safety. Like, they got a crew, man. Sweat is hit. tough, man. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they play, man. They, they So, you know, again, with the running game, which, you know, I, you know, that'd be sound to be the old dude, but you don't need to have a great quarterback. You need no. to have a running game and a defense, and you get Super Bowl rings. Unless you got Tom Brady, that's how everybody else did it. Right. Everybody else did it. Everybody else did it. So I, I would give cats money. We can do it for paper for teams that didn't have that and won a Super Bowl. So, so there you go. You know, that, you know, because last year, even Kansas City, defense played well, had a running game. You know, it, it, yeah, I know you got Mahomes, but it is the formula. Some things don't change. So that doesn't mean, of course, that that um, the Steelers aren't any good. Right. But what it does is for, you know, other coaches – it gives you kind of, okay, these are some things we can do against them. So um, sometimes you don't want to let those things out to teams, but sometimes it's just not something you can, um, you know, you can control, man. But um, we'll see what happens going forward. But um, last night was interesting, and it, and it will lead to some stuff because it's a copycat league, man. So Definitely a, a copycat league. The, the uh, Washington Football Club football team, they defeat the Steelers 23-17. Drops the Steelers to 11 and one. Um, they're tied with the um, Kansas City Chiefs as, at 11 and one. Um, D Dub, what do you think about this this game? Do you think the Steelers are for real? Do you think they're playing? I think the Steelers, the last couple of weeks, they um, you know, they've been hitting and missing. They've been they've been very fortunate in winning. But last night, like I agree with DA, the uh, Washington football team, they played very good. Their defense came to play. And shout out to Alex Smith. Yo, comeback player of the year, man. He looks good. He's comfortable. Yo, they beat a, they beat a really good Steelers team last night. Go ahead, D. D yeah, yeah, shout out to uh, Washington, man. They played a good game, man. 31, uh, 23-17. Yep. Alex Smith was 31 of 46, 296 yards, one TD. Hey, you can't ask no, for nothing better than that. You know what I'm saying? So he's playing phenomenal in the last, what, two to three two to three games, I believe, he started. Right. And um, so, you know, he's uh, he's doing good. Like, D touched upon that defense is serious, man. That Those those guys are serious. Now, the Steelers, I'm not t- – yo, listen, they're 11-1, and one, though. We, yo, I'm a firm believer of not going – this is just my personal. Don't go undefeated. Get that one loss out the way because I'd rather you lose now then to get into the playoffs, when we got what? How many games you got to play? Four, five, four, what? Four, maybe possibly depending on where you you, you rank that. It, for that for the Steelers, that matter, you know, you know, two games before you get to the to the to the Super Bowl. Um, I'd rather you lose now than to lose in the playoffs because you didn't get an opportunity. Uh, you know, that's so much pressure. I always say there's so much pressure. And there's only a few, there's only one team that has done that in, in the history of this game. One team that since we've been able to count that has won, has went undefeated and going on to win the Super Bowl. Doesn't happen. Does not happen. So I'd rather you get it out the way. So now it's the focus, the focus on next or next week should be we got that out the way. We're gonna go on and finish the job now you understand what i'm saying i think i still think they're legit they get their pieces back the two two players uh yeah because they didn't have hurt right now on defense time. yeah well that too and they'll be back i don't i don't just like and i'm sure we're gonna get to the game with tennessee and the cleveland i'm not cleveland played a phenomenal game um and before, i'm not even gonna jump into before but we'll jump into that in a minute they could play good but i'm not dismissing tennessee tennessee is going to be in the mix. But as far as this game, this game was a good game for Washington. They find themselves in a, well, Giants still got the tiebreaker against them, but they find themselves five or seven. Giants five or seven. I mean, you know, who, who, would, who would have thought these two teams 
because we wasn't we wasn't not talking about Giants and Washington at all. Well, with that said, we'll we'll jump right in um, to the Giants in um, Seattle. The Giants traveled um, wait thousand miles uh, out west. What happened now? I'm sorry. You got Jay, the angle. Um, Oh, okay. The angry one before he gets angry at me. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. You know, I was trying to keep my cool. I was like, damn, did, did I not? Okay. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm just piggyback what everybody else said, man. A uh, phenomenal game played by Washington. It, one thing that I, I, one thing that I will say um, for all football fans and all the CFs, even the CFs, this one is for you too. Casual um, fan. Yes, yes. Just because mm-hmm. a team has a below average below 500 record that does not mean that they are absolute trash in this game any given sunday your favorite team can lose and the team that you hate can win okay with that being said washington is starting to round out as a very uh it's the team that you do not want to play if you have playoff implications going going down the line and, and, that's right uh, the, the giants and we, the Same Giants way. and the Redskins are the two that's getting hot right at the right time. We've seen this before where teams get hot. They have to play their way all the way in and they remain hot while the teams that is sitting on their tails for the last two weeks because they got to buy whatever they get cold. So anything can happen. But for this game, um, Washington played great. Shout out to Alex Smith. Um, he what well, he did exactly what everybody said that he was when he got traded out of San Fran. He is a game manager, and that is okay. Because when you got a defense like that, he didn't have a running game behind him, um, but he um, managed not to turn the ball over, and he moved the team down the field when he needed to, and that's all that they needed last night. Pittsburgh is still going to be in the mix, like everybody said. It's their first loss. We're not going to jump out the gym because, oh, oh, my God, they're not undefeated anymore. That shit don't mean nothing. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see Pittsburgh. Um, I will say there's some chinks. I, mean, I know the defense wasn't at hundred percent, but that offense isn't, they're starting to play down to their, uh, opposition these last few weeks, in my opinion. So we'll, we'll see if they correct that or not. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. And wow, look how we have went from probably about five weeks ago when they said, yo, like three wins will win the NFC East. And now, you know, the Giants and Redskins, um, they're slowly creeping up the um go ahead, D Dub. And one more thing I got to say, because I always give this guy some grief a little bit, because I, I think he should know better, but he's a good dude. Um uh Ron Rivera. Alex Smith and Ron Rivera, like Alex Smith is right up Ron Rivera's alley, man, as far as a uh uh a, a, a quarterback, a guy who just manages the game. He's not a whole it's not like um, a whole lot. He, he he's the perfect dude for this for this guy in this situation. What uh, where he finds himself in in Washington, right? So I give him a shout out, shout out, and shout out to both the the Giants and Washington because these teams are both of them. They they young teams. They young young guys, and that's why you can see there's more of a uh a, a, a go a go getter, you know, mentality. Yeah, the guys are more a lot of excitement. The guys want to, you know, they they got they going out there to prove themselves. They may not very be hungry. that great. Very hungry. They may not be that that talented that we think they are right now, but they they building on it, and that's what you could. I I enjoy watching them. I enjoy watching both of them. Matter of fact, because Washington played the Giants, and that was a, a slugfest game. That was a very entertaining game. I don't know if anybody watched, but that was an entertaining game between those two. Giants pulled out uh, a victory twice. Um. On Washington, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, and, um, the, the Giants, the last one, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, that's why I have to say, man. You know, shout out to Ron Rivera, man, and uh, and Coach Judge. They doing a uh, good job, good job. Well, speaking and of that's which, why, uh, another thing, that's right. why you can't jump out the window after the season because the season, you know, we that's why you know you try to pace yourself during the season because it could change. I mean, we in week what 13. 12, 14, 13, 13. and it changes just like that. So, you know. I, I, the one thing for both Washington and um, the Giants, uh, much to my chagrin, uh, is that they are following what we call the Super Bowl handbook, man. 
You get a good yeah. defense. You start to pull in players. You get a good quarterback that you're not paying a lot of money to so that you can pay the rest of the roster. And guess what happens? Mm. You have a good team. This is how that works, guys. If you want to give away all your money to the quarterback, yeah, well, I'm not naming no names. I'm not even going to get into my man's $70 million. $70 million, they still got to pay him. The the Eagles. Yeah, Yeah. well, you know, Jalen Hurts is playing. And you got a dude you paying hurt. 70. No, but you got you've got one dude playing while you're paying another dude 70 million dollars. That and makes no sense. Dollars, and if they, if he gets good, if this guy becomes the 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 guy, the guy that fluffs his wings, and he's they, the man, they will wow. figure out a way, they will figure out the it, way to talk it off. Like, oh, it's all right. Sometimes it, you're gonna do it best for the them. team. The money is against them in the cap, though. This no, is what well, I'm they, yes, they, they Yes, they got to pay him anyway. So that what they're gonna do? Yeah. Pay him. There ain't nothing you can do. Pay Pennsylvania. You got bye bye him. Eagles. Bye bye. Here's, here's one thing that I, I did think about. Right, like since 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 these two quarterbacks are seemingly out of their uh, the teams that they're at, it would have been a good swap. But I forgot one guy is already standing tall at the ATM, so they couldn't couldn't do that. And I'm talking about Carson Wentz and right, Sam right, right. Donald. Both of them, they could have traded for both of those guys and started fresh, and something could have happened. But yeah, no not chance. Because happen. one's still on the rookie contract, right? Making no money, he getting cigarettes and, and chicken wings, and the other That's dude right. is, is getting caviar. And they both playing like hot garbage. But the reality is uh-huh. that one dude is, I think it's on. I think I saw some is, is upwards over sixty, seventy thousand dollars over the next two joints. So yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's about right. At least. Hey, Mrs. Wentz is happy about the situation. So <laughs> Mrs. Wentz, that, that, that um, that's see, probably um most important. Well, since yeah, since yeah. since well, let, let me let's let's just go to the Giants real quick. Let's go to the Giants real quick. The Giants went out to Seattle. They won seventeen twelve. The Giants defense played very well. And listen, I'm I I gotta admit, I'm one of those fans that did because I'm still a fan. Um, and I try to be objective. But I absolutely, five weeks ago, I was like, forget this season. This season is a wash. The Giants ain't able to do it. And slowly but surely, they're coming around. I mean, I'm not saying that the Giants are going to win the Super Bowl. But I, I like the way, you know, and I said it. I said, who is Joe Judge? Or, you know, whoever it is, Judge Judy. Judge, Joe Judge, excuse me. <laughs> and, you know. It's come to find out, you know, he's got some he's he's, he's got some leadership skills and he's got some things where he's implementing and, and it's it's coming together. And like like DA said, yo, run the ball and got some defense. And this is what without the Giants having Saquon Barkley. So imagine they, t- two years away. One or two years away. You could win a Super Bowl next year, because Danny Dimes is good enough to do it now. Like I yeah. said, man, the reality is. I've seen um, Brad Johnson. Yep. Uh, what's the dude, other dude? Trent Dilfer. Trent Dilfer. What's, Yo, what's Danny's your... better than Trent Dilfer now. So it's, that's not a problem. Facts. Now, what's your man? What's your backup man in, in, in Baltimore that used to work for the, for the Jets, but he's, he was in Baltimore. He won a Super Bowl with Ray Lewis. Um, I can't think of his name. Oh, Flacco. Flacco. Flacco was it? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Flacco wasn't great, but he's better than. Danny Dimes, but he's not much better than Danny Dimes. Yeah, but like I said, it, it doesn't take a great quarterback to win a Super Bowl. It never has. There's, there's probably more average quarterbacks for Super Bowl trophies than, you know, because the Dan Marinos didn't get one. Jim Kelly didn't get one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Trent Dilfer has one. And Brad and Johnson has one. And Jim Flacco Plunkett. has one. Jim Plunkett has one. So it's, it's you know, it's this. we're talking about some shit that goes back to the 70s. These cats on TV will tell you I'm wrong, but I take all their fucking money in the poker game if they really believe they was wrong. Mm-hmm. That's, that's true. Um, I, 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 um, and I'm glad people have acknowledged that the Giants played well. Um, Russell Wilson was frustrated the whole day. And basically, oh, what the Giants were the Giants, basically what the Giants D was doing, they was playing seven eight back. They was you know holding the receivers, and Russell couldn't do his scramble magic, man. And I still think he's one of the better, best quarterbacks in the league. Now, you hear, of course, you know, with the with the um, 
the talking heads that came on this on Monday, you know, saying, hey, Russell is, I say, dang, man, yo, just one week, we just in and out. And we'll talk about that a little bit later with, with Baker Mayfield, you know, five weeks ago, they wanted Baker playing in the Stanley League, and now, you know, Sunday, you know, Baker is the MVP candidate. candidate. But this is why you can't listen to him, right? No, nope, why you can't nope. listen to him at all? Yeah, we we about facts. Yeah, these guys are about being lazy. So what they want is that MVP story to be easy for them. They don't want to. They don't want to have Russell still in the mix. So now it's just you know Mahomes and um uh uh, uh what's your man uh my man Aaron Rodgers like they look it's good. Now this is all the all state or whatever kind of insurance it is MVP right now because they don't want, <laughs> yeah, they don't want to put yeah. nobody else in there. So you know. Go ahead, okay. Uh, and you know, so much they, you know, they talk about Seattle because Seattle is supposed to be a, a team that's there, whatever. But my thing is, you know, let's give credit where credit is due to these teams. You know, when we, especially when they get a good win, and this is a quality win by the New York Giants. I mean, yes, it is. And you know, we talk about, and I was, I was one of them, and I was, I was, it was kind of twofold with this. You look at Jabril Peppers, right? This guy is playing almost every every time I see him, he's playing. You know who's not playing or who's always hurt? That guy that we traded away. And now you start looking at this 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 stuff as it started to unfold. Dave Gettleman is looking really good now in these streets right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was a I was a critic. I said, it. but he's He's looking pretty. He, I see you shake your head, bro. He's looking pretty good in these streets right now. Yo, B, I, Yo. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna just say this: You never look good when you stand up on a podium and say, "I'm gonna not going to trade this guy," and then you trade him. Hey. You're a liar. You're hey. never gonna look. Hey. Good. hey, hey, he may be a liar, but he's a good liar. This guy, he nah, traded no him. Such thing. He traded him. And, hey. Yo, I mean, Jabril so Peppers beautiful played liar. a great game. Yeah, beautiful liar, Kev. He, Jabril Peppers played a great <laughs> game. Uh, but you know, uh, he Jabril, was all over the place. Jabril, Jabril's a um, it, it, Jabril's a different kind of dude, though, man. Um, He's a Michigan guy. <laughs> I, I forget Michigan. I do one. <laughs> he won four state championships, man. Every school he went to won the state. You know, two high schools. Jabril Peppers. Won. He's a bad man, but he was a bad man. You know, before all this, the one thing I, I don't like to say is that you know, with your boy, is that you can't tell um, injuries. You know what I'm saying? And football is an injury uh -huh. game. It actually, it's a, a game of attrition. It's not even about uh -huh. being great. It's about how many dudes you can get out your season without getting hurt. That's kind of what right, football right. is. So I'm not mad at Odell for getting hurt because you can't, you know, he, he didn't try to. You know, I think I think Odell's going to be fine. And I think what you're going to, I think when he gets yeah, back, yeah. I think, you know, but I think the Browns are going to be it fine. So, you know, he's, he's fine, but here's again. But see, when you do all this talking, you find it out that you really don't need. And we we said it. We said it millions of times. You don't necessarily need the diva wide receiver. You don't need him. You can win without these guys. As long as you have a, 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 a good base, a good, you know, defense and quality guys around you and get it back to Dave Gettleman. E, hold on. Yo, Jane. Yo, Blake Martinez, James um, Bradbury, those are all solid signings that he did for the Giants, man. Just just to let you know, man. But that was because I, uh, Green Bay doesn't value their dudes. Blake Martinez. <laughs> hey, 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 no, 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 when he yeah, left out of Green Bay. <laughs> when I said, like, you know, like signed, those said, are, that's a good pickup. <laughs> but my thing is, like, those are dudes that, like, he wasn't trying to get, like, a uh, uh, break the bank type of contract out there, B. He right. just wanted his paper out there. And then they got rid of him. So, yeah, sometimes teams are, uh, you know, blessed in the fact that other teams are dumb. And they can, you know, take advantage they, they of them. Definitely, right, so. They yeah, definitely didn't true. see the value of Blake Martinez or the, uh, what's the other kid uh, that came from Green Bay too. Matter of fact, they signed two two guys. Um, Black, what's his name? It starts with an F. But anyway, uh, they signed him too from uh, Green Bay. They, so I don't know what Green Bay was doing and as far as why they didn't 
think yeah, they, they, were, they were drafting a fucking quarterback. That's what they were doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. My bad. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what you got there, bro. You're right. But good win have... for the Giants, 17-12. Good, the good, good win for the Giants, man, as we move right along in this NFL <laughs> um, season. The, uh, as we said, the Browns um, went down to... Hey, the Washington. angry one is going to choke you out. Yo, man. I'm He's a, going I'm to reach over, Kevin. Out, man. I don't know what's going on. I, I give up, man. I, give up. I don't know, <laughs> yeah, I don't know black what's going on here today. You go black. Hey. <laughs> yo, 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 can I get my... Fi- yo, I'm going to be real quick, man. I'm going to be real quick. So, I'm going to just say this. <laughs> And you know, I was joking about Gettleman still that that I, I never like anybody stand up and say, Oh, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that, and then you turn around, you, you look crazy out here. I feel but, you. I feel you. But and all, all, all jokes aside, this is this is what I need I need everybody, myself included, my my fellow uh chasers and, and all all the CFs and all the real fans out there. This is what I need y'all to do. Whenever y'all hear of a signing, whenever y'all hear of a, a manager of a, a a coach, a player, whatever, moving from team to team, or whatever, give these cats a chance. Because here you are, we have two bona fide Giants fans that did the same thing that I'm talking about. They was ready, yo, the season is over. Get them out of here. Yo, why are they winning? This and that, the third, blah, 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 right? But here it is. When you have, when you have a voice in your locker room and the guys that's in that locker room starts to buy in this is what you have you have what you got with ron rivera you have what you got um in new york with with, with judge this is what you have and these teams that are not full of talent they work hard and you see that you start to see that as the weeks go on you're not going to see that in week one week two week three when they first get there but wait until week eight wait until week 10 when they find out who they really have on a roster peppers has been an all-star athlete since the day he was born. He just finally got to a team where they know how to use him and they're not afraid to try to use him here and there and everywhere. That dude is a a, 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 um, a five-tool player right there. So you have something special, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He's a little bit older, he's a little bit more mature. So, you know, he got his body straight, so he's good now. You know what I'm saying? He got a couple of injuries here and there in Cleveland. Didn't work out, so big. Um, but with that being said, I thoroughly enjoy, and I don't say this about the Giants a lot, not in a couple of years, but I thoroughly enjoyed the man-to-man butt whipping that they put on Seattle. Um, One thing that nobody, I haven't seen anybody talk about, well, maybe one or two, but I can't remember their names, so they don't matter right now. Um, The Giants refused to give up the big play over the top. That is what you have to do with oh, yeah, these brother. monster receivers. That's what you have to do. And the Giants did that to a T. They didn't send a whole lot of blitzing. They their front four, front five did their job. They continued to muscle. That's right. And they that's went right. man to man. It was not and tackled. Tackled. And that's all that's you have to do. You tackled. keep the guys in front of you and you make the tackle. If yeah. if most if the rest of the league would learn how to tackle and not just try to be on a sports center uh mm-hmm. with the with the highlight hits. Yeah. Well, you well, wouldn't have dying, what you have. So it don't matter. Yeah. Sports would, is dying. I would. I would give. Uh, with I know you know this summer they didn't have a lot of um, camp and dudes couldn't hit. So I, I'll give them a halfway pass. So they never really hit um, because of COVID. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm with you. E. There, there are ways to stop right. a, a, a Metcalf. There are ways to stop him. E. You just oh, gotta yeah. let, him, let him catch the ball and tackle him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's strong up top. Get them legs, wrap them legs up. Yeah, you, you, simple. Yeah, you gotta let him catch the ball and tackle it. Well, tackling is definitely a lost, lost art. Um, y'all might disagree with me when um I say that you know maybe because of some of the hitting that's going on with the NFL, where you know the defensive, where the defensive guys are on the defense, you know, no pun intended, where they can't hit this way, you know, you know, shots to the head and stuff of that nature. So, you know, but hey. There's, there's rules that go on in, in life and certain professions. Hey, what you got to do? D-Dub, what do we got to do? We got to rock with it, right? Well, you got to do what gotta you gotta do. got to adapt, baby. But you I do, do believe. Do. You got to adapt. I do believe the <laughs> NFL will course correct. And not saying they're going to let dudes just hit dudes, but I think the mm-hmm. NFL will course correct as they see that there are some things 
that they overdid it with. And they're going to have to make some concessions to the defense at some point in time. Because I can tell you now, and we can go back to the other games, but I've seen it four or five occasions, man, where Tony Romo and guys will even say that they're doing it. It's the end of the quarter. You just throw the ball up, try to get a pass interference. Mm-hmm. You know you're yeah. going to get one, so just throw it. Now, if you if mm-hmm. you did that like college, it only made it 15 yards, people wouldn't do it. But you do it the spot foul at the end zone, they're coming at Sometimes, man, it's a BS call. Sometimes, yeah. it's, sometimes it's real. Sometimes it's a BS call. But either way, if you just made it 15 yards and everybody's got to like, oh, 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 don't make no sense. It's like 15 yards, Joe. You know what I mean? It's only a 15 yard call, but that's just a, a, what I'm thinking. Um, there's some course corrections that need to happen though, but yeah. we'll see, we'll see. The, the one thing, I will say this real quick, the one thing that absolutely ticks me off, um, I don't know if y'all can jump in or whatever. The one call that absolutely ticks me off is when a run, uh, when the when the player with the ball it's going to change levels, whether they're lowering their pads or they get tackled or whatever, and there's incidental contact, that should not be a penalty on the defense. I agree. But that's I, not going I agree, happen. definitely. I know. I, uh, that was I agree. But, uh, but that's the, uh, that was one of the easiest ones to change, but they didn't do it, so. Yeah. That's true. Um, um, James, don't please don't get angry with me no more. I will promise you, I will make sure I, I call you. That's... Don't uh, 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 hey, hey, you 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 said it, man. We're gonna see this next this next uh we'll, still, got a, we'll still got a little we'll bit see. to go. So y'all gonna see why they call me angry, man, here in a minute. Let this man do me again. You know what I'm saying? Browns, Brown, Browns and Titans, Browns and Titans. Browns went down to Nashville, they won 41 to 35. The Browns are nine and three. Titans are eight and four. Um James, who <laughs> died in Nashville, we will call on him. We will get hit. Well, I'll get my spill first. Um, hey, the Browns, they're playing very well. Um, there was a lot of proponents that say, you know, Baker's not this, Baker's not that. Hey, Baker sucks and all this, all these things. Yo, man, if you provide, as DA always say, man, you provide some defense and you provide some running, you put the quarterback in a favorable situation where he can manage the game if he's not super great. Good eight times out of ten, man, you can come away with a victory, and and that's what the the coach of the um excuse me of the Browns did. They went in there and they they smashed. And, and Cleveland defense is is very very good. Baker was twenty five or thirty three for three hundred eighty three hundred thirty four yards. He threw four TDs, no interceptions. And mm-hmm. James Eric, we'll start with you, sir. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. I told y'all right here on the Sports Chasers podcast that if the Cleveland Browns um, went ahead and made their running game a priority, they are going to be a problem. It's simple facts. just like DA said. We've all said it. Okay. Get you a running game. Get you a defense. They have nothing but first, second, and third rounders all across that defense. That line, the linebackers, and the back end. Okay, you get a Nick Chubb in there. You get a a, a, a hungry um, uh, what's my man Kareem Hunt Kareem back Hunt. there. Yeah, you got a decent offensive line that's playing better every year now, uh, every game now. Um, and you got Baker that's got a chip on his shoulder because you got. Cat saying that he sucks every week and he doesn't know what he's doing in this net third. You right. got to give the man a chance, man. Like I say every week, you cannot expect. If you if you have a tiger out here in the jungle, first week he's out there, he's out there with the elephants. The next week he's out there with the damn bears. The following week he's out there with the damn fish and is in the in the in the in the in the, in the pond swimming. Yeah, when he gets with the Tigers, he's not going to know who the hell he is. So, with that being said, Baker, again, like with many other quarterbacks, but we're talking about the Cleveland, Baker has had numerous coaches and numerous uh, offensive coordinators throughout his first, what's his, his fourth year? Fourth year. Fourth year, correct. His fourth year. And he finally got somebody that believes in him, and he, Baker is buying in. Match made in heaven. Now, 
Tennessee Titans. Again, this may look like a bad, oh, you lost to the Browns. No, it's, it's not a bad bad loss at all. It doesn't change anything. <clears throat> they, they fought hard. They fought back. People could say, oh, well, the Browns changed their defense up because they was up. But I, I don't, I don't want to hear that because you play 60 minutes of football. That's right. Okay. You, you you could go ahead and dial it back if you want to. You see, you almost got beat. If they would have had a, a five more minutes on the clock, it could have been a different outcome. Could have so, been a different. Yep. shout out to uh, to Tannehill, twenty nine to forty five for three eighty nine, three touchdowns. Did have one pick. Didn't have uh, Henry. Didn't have a monster game. This was all on the arm of uh, Tannehill with this comeback and the receivers catching the ball here and there. Well, they oh, got behind, they got behind big, so that's why to me they couldn't um, use um Henry. Go ahead. Right, right. Well, you know, <laughs> um, we'll we'll see. It doesn't change. My, Tennessee is going to be a tough out for anybody. Kansas City, Pittsburgh, it doesn't matter. They're going to be a tough out. Playoffs, um, and Cleveland. Cleveland is starting just like just like <laughs> I said earlier. They were just on the right side of the the, the win loss column, but um, they're playing hard, man. You you got to give it up to them. They're not browning. We said that way back. It was it week five. Uh, the yeah. Browns going to brown. They, you know, they must they must listen to us because they haven't. They, they're bright orange. They ain't right been now. Yeah. <laughs> they bright orange right now. <laughs> they bright orange. They ain't browning. Yeah. <laughs> Browns be uh, brown, man. Hey. Yeah, they look good. They look real good, man. And really ain't much to say, man. Um, uh, 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 he he kind of touched everything. Um, reality is when you're a bad team for a long time. You got a lot of good draft picks. Your locker room is filled with talent. Now it's all about putting the talent in the places it needs to be to do what it does. And they have it. You know, I mean, they got tight ends that probably would start at other teams. They got Kareem Hunt would probably start at other teams. Like, they got dudes. And um, they're playing well. And Baker Mayfield is not a bad quarterback. He won the Heisman. So you put him in that, yeah, you're going to have these type of games. The thing with Baker is, you know, what he's learning is how to pull it back in other types of games where he doesn't have to do it all. He's learning how to do that and not complain about it. You know, where he doesn't have to throw it 35 times. When Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt is running up and down the field, nope. he knows that that's, uh, that's fine. We get the dub. Um, right. I, I am happy. Um on another note for this team, because I, I am the guy that hates when these talking heads on other shows stay like like uh, 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 excessively stupid shit. Like, uh, dude, dude, dude does too many commercials. Shut the fuck up. All right, if you know anything about those commercials, they bring that group out there and you do like eight of them in a day. You know, so let the man put the money well, in his pockets and not your pockets. It's his pockets and what he decides to do on his off time is his fucking business. Right. All right. So on the field, he's getting better. He has a, a coordinator he can trust that he can work with. And they're going to be ups and downs. But as long as he's with one track and one team, you know, learning the game that way, he's going to be a a, a, a formidable uh, a, a quarterback, man, in the next right. few years. So right. Right. Um, I'm, I'm happy to see it happen. Um, and again, go back to the, the old, our old adage, they're not paying Baker any money. Next year is his fifth year, and they don't have to pick up the option till after next season. Please believe. They can pick up more players and get them on the contract before they give him whatever, you know, next man up quarterback money, you know. Right. So I, I think they're in a good spot, man. Whether the guys that got fired knew that they'd be leaving these guys in a good position or not, but they did. So it's all good. D-Dub, what's, what's your thoughts on the Browns? The Browns are not browning no more. The Browns are nine and three, nine and three, sitting pretty right now. Uh, the Browns did a good job. Hey, let me tell you something. Uh, Mayfield was on on his way to having a historic night or historic day on Sunday. Uh, 25 to 33, 334, four TDs. 
Okay, so I mean, he was almost about to put up some type of Madden numbers in, in, the, in, in the first half there. You understand? So, uh, as far as Mayfield, Mayfield was getting a lot of slack because of his, uh, you know, I don't know. I think they was, again, I think the Browns are finally finding out who they are, man. If they would just, and we had said it before, if they would just run the ball to what me and uh, E had talked about this numerous times, they they are 2020's version of Thunder and Lightning. You understand with Kareem Hunt, that's, that's a good and assessment. Nick Chubb, yeah. right? That's what they got, and those two running the ball the way they are, you're gonna have a hard time. Because they are here's the here's the thing. What wins? Ball control. Especially when you start getting into December, January. Ball control, running the ball, good defense is what's gonna put you over the top. You understand? You know, so Kansas City is playing very well right now, but they got they got a there's several teams out here now that could beat Kansas City. Now they're playing great, but I'm telling you, if they're not on their A game, they could be had. Denver um, had, had them last night? Yeah. Tennessee, I mean, Sunday night. again. Yeah. Tennessee, I'm not jumping. Yo, Tennessee is eight and three, man. Eight and four, sorry, oh. eight and four. Uh, I don't think there's nothing to worry about with them. Again, we are able to have bad games. They had a bad game against a pretty good team and this was a good matchup game for both teams so somebody had to lose and it was just that Tennessee did not it was it was an uphill battle because they got so far behind as you said earlier they got right. they got so far behind so I mean not to say they couldn't come back because they did it they did a hell of a job 41 35 early on it was 28 7 it was some some scored, but it was really out of. He was like, "My God, this is a blowout." Right. But but to their credit, they did a good job coming back. So you know, Tennessee would be back, and Tannehill is playing. Um, uh, he's playing good too. So I mean, I'm not. Tannehill was twenty nine forty five. Yeah, three eighty nine, three ten. I mean, he was far, you know behind, and they couldn't run Henry like they wanted to after they got down so much. So you know, it's good. Okay. Um, they'll be he'll be back. They'll be back. Good uh, good game overall. Good game. And these teams probably will see each other somewhere down the line. I can almost guarantee you that. I, I totally agree. Let me run through the um, other games real quick before uh, we touch on the, the next one. The Saints are quietly, to me, they're quietly 10-2. and two. They beat the Falcons uh, 21-16 in Atlanta. Um, the Saints have clinched to the playoff berth. Um, the Lions, they beat the Bears 34 to 30. The Bears are really bad, man. Uh, no quarterback game. They're looking really Really bad out there in these streets. Um, the that's that's the because of the 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 whole system, man. They they went ahead with the, the whole quarterback situation is bad. But go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Trubisky is not probably wasn't a I guess you know North Carolina guy, right? E. Yes, sir. Yeah. Should have um, never. Trubisky, Trub, Trubisky, <laughs> and the, and the other dude. Go ahead. E. Let, let, I'm gonna just say this, man. I'm just just like I said about. Uh, the Giants picking uh, Danny Jones, right? I'm not mad at the pick. Right. I'm right. mad at when when you picked it, okay? Yeah. Nobody yeah, was talking about on. Mitchell Trubisky leading up to that. So why did you have to jump out the gym to move up the way that you did? The Giants, you could have got him in the second, third round. You could have got Mitchell Trubisky yeah. in the second, third round. He wasn't talked about like and, Okay. I just, but the talk, that, that, is what gets him, the talk is what gets him picked so high. Um... Because like it was every. Unmute your mic, bro. Yo, D, D, I'm gonna help him out here. I got it. I got it. I got it. Right. I got it. Right. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I got it. Hey. Yo, hey, by the way, uh, Des Bryant got COVID. You don't want to get that. So. Yeah, stay away from Des. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, Des Bryant got COVID. Wait, who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Des yeah, Bryant. They they took him out before uh, the game tonight. He got COVID. Old nigga, old nigga, old nigga in the strip club. Well, well like, I'm gonna just say this: if if you ask me, the whole the whole uh, offensive playbook got COVID there in Baltimore. But yeah. that, 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 I'm sorry, that, I had to throw that out there. Old, old nigga in the strip club. But yeah, I'm saying uh, we we'll talk. Uh, um, what the fuck was I saying? This is what old gets you. Uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, uh, oh, oh, Chicago. Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Oh, okay. And, uh, Trubisky. Trubisky. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, young fellas. Okay, I got it now. Uh oh, look. Yo, Lamar Jackson. Par- Sorry. It's, it's real quick. Parcells rule, bro. Anybody, if you get rich, you become a billionaire, you get your own team. Go by the Parcells rule. If a cat don't start 30 games in college, don't pick him. Makes it real simple. I do everything I do as far as quarterbacks. If we talk about this before the seasons and Dal and them was on my butt about, about Daniel Jones. Yo, so starts in college. You don't have to see it right away, but it will be there. It will come and it will help. Um, and right. Trubisky didn't play but a season. And I have one thing. If you're going to play one season in college and don't win the national championship in that one fucking season that you're there, you need to yeah, sit. bring your dumb ass back. Bring your ass back. Play some more. Because you didn't win. You didn't do what you were supposed to do. Yeah. You didn't fulfill your goal, which is to win the championship. So well, you played me... one season and didn't win the championship. Dog, you better you, you better come back. Try it again. That's all. If if I'm not mistaken, and I, I, I somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. I think Trubisky was there when Carolina had them sanctions against him. So I, I think when he was there, they wasn't even at no bowl games or nothing like that. But I could be wrong, but I think that's that's what happened. Oh, no, no, you're right, but he didn't start. He didn't right, start right, 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 right. Because the right. other kid from, from um, Mallet Creek started before he got right. there. Right, 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 right. And the dude from Mallet Creek started two years, and then Trubisky came. So right. that's my thing. Is, but, it's uh, it's just a 30-game thing with me, man. Or two seasons. Yeah, play 30 games. And hey, you're right, David, because I gave you I gave you grief. I still... And again, I'm with I'm with E on that one. It's not so much of the pick. That's fine, but where you picked him at, and I think if you could have got him in the second round, I think you overvalued him, and he could you could have went second round, third round, and could still been laying right there because I don't think nobody was talking about this guy. But right. and what you said, getting back to what you said, the thirty day, the thirty, what you said, thirty games, thirty games, man. If you ain't. I, there, there's something to that, and the great Bill Parcell said it. I know it, it, it's got to be right. And you know, you remember the dude was also, he was there for the Manning Academies because Cutcliffe was both of the Manning's coaches in college. So he was with that dude. That dude, listen, Daniel get, I just know he's a good player. He had good games in college. He had a pretty good record in college on a horrible team, right? Duke mm-hmm. football is not about nothing. And they'll tell you on the way into the stadium, we don't care about winning. We're Duke football. Yeah. Basketball, we care mm-hmm. about. We got Zion and everybody else on the basketball court. Come football, we got Jimmy, uh, they go, uh, uh, Jeffrey. They don't even know who the hell's on the team in Duke. So, <laughs> Jimmy, yeah. You know, so yeah. It, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a different world. But if you can survive in that, per se, then dude, it, it, it's, it's, it's real, man. You know, it, it, I, I, I think the kid can play. You know, I, I think he'll be okay. I don't think he'll be, you know, superstar, but that's not the bar for me. My bar is can you win the Super Bowl? I, I and I and I'm to piggyback. I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say this. Um, I agree wholeheartedly with the Paul Sells rule. Um, and and I'm not. We're not sitting here saying that you shouldn't be picked if you don't play more than if you don't play more than 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 uh, a season or two. What we're saying is maybe when you get drafted, hopefully the team that drafts you has a quarterback there that can bridge the gap and let you sit and learn because you didn't do all the learning that you should have done in college. So let's, let's, I just wanted right. to yeah. make that clear before the CFs come in and attack us in the comments section. Oh, yeah, but no, the reality is that that's also partially due to the fact that you have the, the what's these guys called? The... Uh, the talking heads, the Mel Kuypers of them, gassing them quarterbacks that should not be that high, period. And it forces the market. So dude is buying hollow gold rope chains for 
$2,000, where three years ago, a hollow rope gold chain was $50, you know? But that's where you, that's where, for the organizations, that's where you have to have a strong scouting team. Like, Mel Kuyper don't know what the fuck he's talking about. We know we done did our research and we gonna go who get who we want to get. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, like Mel Kuyper Jr. how you really feel, dog. No, uh, yeah, no. dog. <laughs> Uh, I, I will I will give you one though on that eat like and my man um and I, I and, and I'm not a Raiders fan but I'm a Mike Mayock fan for real for real like that's my dude like I I used to do all my drafts watching Mike Mayock because I was like this dude knows his shit right. him and the dude he's not in the league anymore he's not playing anymore dude named um Corey Chavis you can look him up okay um him and Corey Chavis. Man, you talk about that draft, them fools you to do that thing like know everybody, like for real. Be, we'll tell you for dude for gauge, like, nah, that dude ain't nice like that. He'd be like, what? Nah, he ain't nice like that. And you end up wow. not being nice like that because they did that research and you poof in the pudding. Right. right? Everybody thought Mayock and Gruden were crazy for getting rid of Mac, getting rid of this dude, bringing in that guy. Look at him. Look at them. They putting the smash on dudes right now. Raiders got dudes scared, man. Yeah. The Raiders got dudes scared. You know, so yeah, it, it, it's that good front office, man, making that thing work, man. I, I I love to see it, man. I love to see, you know, like Hannibal Smith. I love to see when the plan comes together, man. So. Indeed. There you go. And, and the old one, not the new one. So. Yeah, and that new one is trash. You only watch that well, movie when you're sleeping. Yeah, you watch the movie with their sleeping. Hey, Colts um beat the Texans 26 to 20. Um Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Watson, excuse me, has something very interesting to say after the game. Um DA and James Eric have some strong opinions. James, go ahead real quick. I, I'm gonna just say this, bro. Like I said, if y'all watched us all through the time, you already know what we said about this dude, man. Yo, I, let, let's be clear, okay? I was one of the guys that was very vocal when Deshaun Watson did not go one, two, or three in, in the draft that he came up in, okay? This man has played the games. He beat the team that he was supposed to beat when nobody thought that he was going to beat him. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let's be clear. You, sir, took the bag. Stand tall at the ATM, mm. stand tall in that pocket and rally the guys around you. Now, again, I was another one that was very uh, upset. Losing. Well, well, I understand that, but um, do something about <laughs> it. You saying I'm tired of losing is not doing anything for you. you know that, what won't I'm you. Man, that won't help I'm, you on the field. So. Nobody's going to say, oh, that man must love losing because he's doing a hell of a good job doing it. No, nobody says that. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, that's that's not helping you. Go go and, and be one with your team. Rally your troops up. Because if Russell Wilson can do it, you can do it too. And sometimes Russell doesn't do it. But, you know, the point I make is, don't, maybe you're young and... Maybe you ain't listening hey. to sports chases, and maybe you need to hear it. Yeah, you need to listen to us. The reality is this, dog. Once you take that check, no one gives a damn. And I understand you oh. got to take the check because you got a family. You know, you want to take care of your people, you want to do what you got to do. But remember, you took that check damn near a day after they let go of uh, 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 your boy. So you knew what it was. D Hop was going, and you said, Fuck it, I'm gonna take that nigga money for somebody else's game. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and yo, I'm not mad at you, my man. Right, right. I'm with you. Fumble, yeah. let me go get that ball. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the reality is, dog, now you have to become a Tom Brady. Like, this is where you really gotta sit back and say, Okay, what can we do based upon what I make and what the salary cap is to get some guys in here to help me win? Y'all gonna have to draft a lot better, and you're gonna have to make the guys that you have that right. you're drafting, you know, you're gonna have to make them better. Right. If that means scrambling a little bit more to help your, your linemen out, doing things for your running backs, doing things so your defense can get off the field, 
Yo, dog, now it's time to put that hat on, man, and do, you know, do your big boy thing, you know? And I'm not saying that you can't, because I believe you. I think you're a hell of a player, but we can't have those statements because those statements don't help anybody. Right. That's all. Because everybody else is here, too. Like, you're not in that pool by yourself. You know, you look around in, in that room, there's a bunch of quarterbacks in that room that already got the bag and are looked at to make it happen. You know, some do it. Stafford and them don't. Uh, uh, maybe Maddie Ice don't. Russell tries to. But y'all all in the same damn room because you took the check. And we're not giving you, the only one that's not is my man, Andrew Luck, where I actually took his check and quit. Boo-dow. But besides that, ain't nothing you can do, big. Ain't nothing you can do. You know, he's he going to have to go ahead and do his thing, man. All right. Yo, man, how about, how about your boy D, man? Sean, we'll work something out, man. All right? <laughs> yo, man, yo, like, yo, again, nobody cares about you. You want to, that crying shit ain't going to get you nowhere. Nobody cares, dog. Only thing people care about, are you man. winning on Sunday? They don't care. Listen, they make it, yo, and because. Got guys. Be, Got the bag, Got my the G. Bag, baby. Got the bag. Got the bag. Shout out to Gucci Got man. the bag, my G. Got, a, got the bag. So nobody cares. So either you make the guys around you better, or you give back some of that cash man, and get you some other some other players. He tired of losing. Can't do it though, cause well, D Hop ain't coming back. So listen, two things can't be the can't be true in this situation. You can't get the bag. <laughs> and everybody and else get the bag. Everybody, right. It's not going to work. I don't know. Newsflash, you guys need to start listening to us. And somebody needs to start putting us on to let these people know that this game is adversarial for a reason. It puts people against one another. Everybody can't win in this game. You understand? It, it's like this for a reason. You can't, everybody can't get the bag at the same time unless you go to another team. You go to another team, you can get the bag if you want to, but you got to know. You got to do exactly what Russell Wilson has done. No receivers. Average Make receivers. Tyler Lockett. Make Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett. Right. And Tyler Lockett was a good, good draft he a, when he came he out of the league. He was a good player. He was, a, he was a kick returner. That's all he was, was a kick returner. Right. Returner. That's all at the time right. when he came out. And, and and hone his skills in. So nobody wants to hear all that stuff, man. You you, yo, they paying the quarterbacks all this money. You got the bag, yo. Yeah. So now, yo, you gotta do what you gotta do now. Gotta so do what I'm you gotta not, do. Like, again, I'm not I'm not one to hear all this, man. I don't I, I don't care to hear it. So you can move on, Kev. I'm I'm good. I ain't got nothing to say about this. Um, <laughs> the Dolphins beat the Bengals, nineteen seven. Vikings hold on to beat the Jaguars, 27-24. The Jets finally found a way to lose again, 31-28. They fired their defensive coach, Greg Williams, because of a real crazy blitz package. He applied at the end as of the if, As if Adam, Adam Gates didn't know what was coming. Like, you know what, dog, stop. Anyway, what's fun, move what's on. The funny thing about it, they didn't fire his son. His son works on the team. They didn't fire him. How awkward is that? Get out of here. Yeah, I digress. All right. Rams uh, beat the Cardinals uh, 38-28. That's, that's James's team. Yo, E, real quick. Yo, you say your team ain't ready. You said in the chat yesterday, the other day, your team ain't ready. What's what's up with the Cardinals, dog? 6-6. Six six. They not ready, man. I'm, I'm still not seeing that defense play every Sunday like they're hungry. I see them play, you know, they may play Seattle here. They may play, you know, Green Bay here, whatever, man. But they, they not... That, that defense ain't set yet, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We need, we, need, we need somebody on that front line that can rush the passer every down. Our problem is, is that we're first. blitzing and we are not the, – the Cardinals are not um, – they don't tackle well. They, they, they go for hits. They don't tackle well. So a, a guy that catches the ball is a five-yard out. It turns into 35 yards because – this guy didn't make a tackle. So right. that, well, and, yeah, and, missed, and the offense is showing some inconsistencies too. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just 
penalties here, backs you up. It's just a little stuff like that, man. I don't think they're mature enough to do it this year. That's why I say a year at the most, too. It takes we'll time, see. man. You guys, you don't you don't have Chandler on the front line. So he was the only dude you had rips and um the quarterback was Chandler Jones, but he's hurt. On the right. back of the defense, Peterson is old. You know, he's he's a Hall of Famer, but he is old. Um mm -hmm. I, I don't know who you have at linebackers, and you do miss tackles. And I we think got, the biggest we thing, got Hicks, who's 30, 31 years old. Yeah. Who, yeah. And I'm not saying that's old. He's coming into his own now. However, you on the tail end. You you done crossed that bridge now. You on the downside yeah, now. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to stay there too much longer. I would assume he's a good guy to be there when you do get some rookies in place to teach them. But lastly, as far as on that note, on the offensive side, the other thing, too, is that the league um, is, is this is Kingsbury's second season. So most defensive coordinators are now catching up with him. Yeah, that's something that most people don't believe in, but it is real. Yo, it's, it's like a batting order in, 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 in baseball. First time through the lineup, you got it. Next time through the lineup, things are going to change. Next time that team sees you, things are really, really going to change. So the reality is that teams are also catching up with what Kingsbury's uh, uh, offense was and, and what Kyler Murray can do and what he can't do and things that, you know, that can, I guess, stop that or hurt that. Um, but, you know, styles make fights too. So, like, we can beat the Rams and, Ram and the Rams can beat y'all and then y'all can beat us. So, you know, styles make fights as well. So Yeah, yeah. And Rams right now is just a better team than us. I, I'm not. I'm not I'm a super fan of the way I. Oh, my team still but no, nah, I don't. We don't. We don't do that over here. You know what I'm saying? The Rams are a better team, especially on defense. They're a better team. When you can get pressure into the face of the quarterback straight up the middle, yep. you cause problems. That's with Donald. Yep. Going yes, sir. Up, going up the middle. Um, where was we at? We talked about Green Bay beating the the Eagles. Uh, Wentz getting the bag. He's standing tall at the ATM, and um, Jalen Hurts is in playing. N nothing more to say like that. You can't give the quarterback. You can't give the quarterback in his second, third year all the money, and he hasn't accomplished anything. And now you, now it's almost like you gotta play. You gotta, you gotta play him, even though now the um, Doug Peterson said he's going to start Jalen Hurts on. Um, next um sunday i was starting for the rest That's of the sweet. year me me personally uh, me personally i was starting to see what he got listen see what he got. this is what seattle did this is how we got russell wilson the way he's at now they yeah. that same year that they drafted him they signed um what's my man name uh i think he came from green bay they signed him to all that money and then come yeah. to find out this third rounder was whooping his tail in, in in training camp and all of that and then you don't even hear from this guy no more uh, God, mm -hmm. you can't remember dude's name. Wow, yeah. Man. Yeah, I'm going to I have to look that up now. But yeah, it's the same yeah. thing. No one wants that. Man, nobody wants that. that. That's dead money you got to eat, man. So, you know. Can't, can't, can't eat it. Um, Patriots um, win big 45-0 um, in um, LA against the Chargers. Anthony Lynn's job might be in the balance here. He's three and nine. The Chiefs beat on the um, Broncos on the Sunday night game, 22 to 16. And yo, I'm pulling for the Bills, man, because the Bills has been bad for a long time. Yo, Josh Allen's for real. He led Josh them against. Allen, the he looked great, man. He's, he's, great he's he he looks good. You know, um, against the 49ers who are homeless, they're playing down in um, Eric's um, the Cardinal Stadium down in um, down in Arizona, Glendale. in Glendale. Excuse me, and um, the Bills beat on. Um, the 49ers 34-24. Currently, the um, Cowboys are leading the Ravens 10-7 with 9.53 to go in the second quarter. With Tuesday night football, with all the COVID stuff going on, the NFL has to do has had to do a couple adjustments, and that's good. So, yo, next um, few minutes, we're going to segue to the NBA, the National Basketball Association, and the top story, of course, is James <laughs> Harden. Uh oh, did Eric by Needle James Moore and Breeze Hart. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, man. Go um, ahead. Go ahead. Um, real quick, from um, Tim McMahon and Adrian Wojciechowski, James Harden indicated to the Houston Rockets before training camp that he will be open to a trade to the Philadelphia 76ers or possibly other contenders. Sources told 
Harden, the perennial MVP candidate, took a coronavirus test at Toyota Center in Houston on Tuesday as far as the league's protocol to return to play. Rockets coach Steven Silas confirmed once clear to return. The next step will be for Harden to join the Rockets training camp, which started on the weekend without him. Harden per- previously requested to be traded to the Brooklyn Knicks to form a super team with former Oklahoma City Thunder um, teammate Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. After it was clear, no no traction in talks with the Nets, Harden expressed to the Rockets that he would be agreeable if a trade with the 76ers materialized, sources said. Harden also indicated that other teams could fit in the criteria for a preferred destination, a source said. I'd like to lead this segment off with um, DA, because DA is the district attorney, man, which means he dabbles in the law, which means he gets into all the intricacies when it comes to contracts and things of that nature. And DA says to this. Look, you can want to go everywhere. If they, if you can't get a trade for the same amount of money, same amount of cap money that you have, it ain't going to happen, right? And there's not a lot of players that have, so we can already cut down the who. Because there has to be teams that have one or two, or they can do a sign and trade and or a three-way trade that equals his what, 40, 50 million dollars a year, whatever the hell it is. Which makes it hard for the NBA. It makes it hard right. for the NBA or any other team to do this, right? So if I'm Philadelphia, I'm saying no. No. Because I, I Ben Simmons is better than, than James Tart. People don't understand what I'm saying. Wait, say that one more time. I think he's better than James Harden. Okay. Six foot ten. He's an all defensive player every year. And he scores 15, 20 points a game. You don't know what you're talking shot. about because <laughs> James Harden is on the NBA Ultimate Team on 2K. Okay. I don't even have 2K, so I don't. I I couldn't tell you. I'm I'm glad he's on 2K. I don't know what that means. I'm 51 years old, so I don't I don't know what the fuck 2K means. But what I'm saying is that, you know. The brother in Philadelphia, he scores 20 points a game without shooting a jump shot. Like, everybody disrespects him because he doesn't shoot. But right. think about it. He scores 20-some points a game without shooting a jump shot. And he's what? And How old is he again? 6'10". And he's on the all-defensive team every year. Hey, when you want. You know, you want him standing out on the three-point line with Joel Embiid or, or trying to get to the basket. Everybody can't do the same things. Which is a right? lost art. Yeah, so you're talking about now, if you do get James Harden out there, and B's on the three-point line, and so is he. Like, who's who's inside now? Nobody. So with that being said, you know, it, it'll take a lot to make that happen. And for most younger teams, with guys coming up, that trade would probably ruin them, you know, from a financial perspective. Because, again, he's a three-for-one dude, man. You know, this is why you see, like, okay, John Wall got traded for Westbrook because their money is about the same. It wasn't about their skill level. They get paid about the same amount of money. You know what I'm saying? And so, not only that, let me just touch uh, what contract was. There was no restrictions on who was going to be traded to where. So that also yeah. makes it hard. Right. So, I don't know what James Harden's going to do. Um, I, I am over the, you know, you're going to join the super team or make a super team or be with the super friends and watch the super friends. Do, do what you do what you got to do. Just make sure it works. If you're going to make that move, make sure that move works for you, right? If you're going to make mm-hmm. that happen, make sure that, that it does what it's supposed to do. You got problems with people leaving and going to other teams. No, it's the free market I, is a free care. enterprise. I don't care. I, I would love you. Listen, do whatever you do. I would listen. I wasn't mad at LeBron James. Kevin was. I wasn't mad. He went to Florida. He's a free agent. He can go wherever the hell he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> right? That, that's, to me, I, I believe in that. Kurt Flood, listen, this is. Dude lost his career over this, man. So I, I'm kind of into it. Yeah, like, go do what you're going to do. You know, I just, um, my thing is, if it doesn't work, don't complain. You know, because again, I've seen this. 
I've been seeing since my son was 12 years old. So I know these kids want to play with better players. No one wants to be on the team with the scrubs, even in the park. Right, right. So that's just what the truth is. So he has to make it. I think if they leave him there in Houston, he has to figure out a way to Michael Jordan, his way, a championship. Meaning to say, rock with your teammates, get your teammates better, maybe talk a little bit more. And and, and this doesn't always work because not every team is going to let you talk to them, the GM, about who to draft and who they shouldn't draft. Well, not everybody does that. So let me, you know. ask, let, me, let me ask you this, D. How does he do that now? Because now he's re, he's requesting the trade. How, how does he go back in the locker room and say? Well, they, well, the reality is they don't have a locker room right now, right? So no. the guys that were there in Houston, a lot of those guys are gone. Like everybody in there is pretty much new right now, oh, right. which is probably one of the reasons why he wanted to leave. So right now the locker room is like, yeah, no one really knows James Harden. I mean, they know him, but don't know him from that perspective and probably don't care. Right. So, you know, it's a different world, but I I, I understand what you're saying because I was talking to one of my buddies about that with the Nets. Like, like what do they do, right? Because now, you know, you had this dude talking about he wanted to get traded and I don't know what the talk was with them at all, if there was any, right? So you got Dinwiddie and Levert and those guys like, what the fuck, man? We did our thing in the bubble, you know? And now you want to get rid of us? Right. But even with that, you can't be soft. And, and with that, you have to understand it is a business and these things are going to happen, right? So. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. The point I make is that I don't, I think for a James Harden trade, it would have to be one or two players worth the salary, which means for most teams in the NBA, that's both of their stars on their team, whoever the two stars are for him. Right, right, because his salary is worth two guys' salary. Like he'd be like two Julius Randles and like a Kevin Knox for us, you know. So that that's mm. it's hard for a team to do that. It's hard yeah. for a team to do that, but they will find something. And he's coming east because um, he thinks uh, it's easy pickings over there. Who knows? Mm. Okay, but Philly without you need Embiid, Simmons. And him in Philly to make a difference. Yeah, because just having those two, they still nope. use they still lose the Boston. So, and that's kind of what that is. James doesn't play defense at all. Yeah, so, hey, Harden doesn't play no defense at all, at all. Let me let me let me go to uh, the angry one before he kills me. Uh, James, go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, first, let me let me. I uh, just wanted to verify from that last segment. That quarterback's name was Matt Flynn. That had the bag. Matt Flynn. Matt Flynn. That's what. That had it, it, it was going to worry me uh, if I didn't get that information Matt out Flynn. before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Secondly, I want to say, yo, know, Da, I love you, brother, and, and I respect that. There is no way in the world, even at James Harden now at thirty years of age, am I taking Ben Simmons <laughs> over to? I, I gotta make it. I gotta make a funny or whatever. Um. But. See, here's the thing. Here's the problem with this James Harden thing, right? Just like y'all said, not only are you going to you're gonna to have to trade your top player or top two players or whatever, that usually comes along with part of your bench or all of your bench. So you're gonna to have to start over from square one. You're gonna to have to go to the local Y and get some guys that's been playing eight hours all day every day to come and fill your bench up. It's not gonna happen. I don't. I don't First, before we get into all of that, James Harden, how many years you still got left on your contract? Just because you complaining? He has two. 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 Is it three? Two. It's two. Or Daryl just don't know gang signs. Well, he got he got more yeah. than one. Therefore, more, yeah, you, more than you one. cannot you cannot dictate where you think you're gonna go and all this other stuff. Guess what? If I'm Houston, I would sit right on that. You know what? You're not going nowhere. If you don't want to play, we'll find you. It's just, just that simple. It's just like what DA said. You. James Harden, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. James Harden right now is in the crossroads of his career, okay? You could go out like a sucker and force your way out, and I'm saying that just be based off of this, this thing right here. You guys okay. said nothing about Anthony Davis when he did this. Yes, I did. But anyway, um, talking about James Harden, not Anthony Davis. Uh, you, 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 you have an opportunity to play with two guys that are coming off an injury 
that have a lot to prove to themselves and this league. Okay. You have enough talent within yourself and the other couple of moves that Houston has already made um, to go and make some noise. Are you going to win a chip? I, I don't think so, but you never know. You know what I'm saying? You forcing your way, oh, I want to go to Philly and I want to go here. You, 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 you looking crazy out here, man. You got two years left on this deal. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother. I wouldn't even answer no calls if somebody called for them. I, I really wouldn't, unless it's something that's going to just blow the doors off of my front and back door. That's it. That's all I got. B Dub, you're laughing. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm laughing, man, because James Harden just needs to take his ass down to Houston and go to ball and go to play, play with the guys, play with John Wall, a perennial All Star, if he stays healthy. Play with Boogie Cousins if he stays healthy. Uh, you trying to force your way out, and then you want to gut the team that's going to, who's going to try their best to give you value for value for, for yourself. It's not going to work, man. I've seen this before. Uh, yo, just stay where you at. Stay put and. And if if it gets that bad, let the Rockets figure out a way. But as of right now, you under contract. Yo, you ain't going nowhere. If it's me owning that, owning that team, you ain't going nowhere. So I say because you signed the contract three years. I don't care about you know this all this uh, player empowerment. All this this is, this is absolute nonsense. The guys under contract, where are you going? I that's nice. I I I'll hear your trade demand and that you want to be traded, but. That that's it means nothing. I blame I blame the NBA though, man. I blame the yeah, NBA. It's absolutely, the NBA's fault for this. I blame this. the NBA for for allowing them to to do to do these things. And now, so now you now we running around here with spoiled athletes now who think that just because they they say I demand a trade that they supposed to like this and it's supposed to be done. No, man. I'm not going me as an owner of the NBA franchise. I'm not going to let you go for nothing. Sir, you're a governor. You're bring no, me... That's not politically correct. Uh, Kev, Kev, stop. <laughs> stop. You go, you go. Stop. Yo, I'm okay. not going to let you go and get nothing back for you. I, I understand the value of your talent. There's no way in the hell I'm going to let you go. Correct. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. So you're just going to stay there and you're going to do your job. And if you don't do your job, you get fined for it. That's it. So it's just better off you just stay where you at, do what you got to do, try to get this team. If you if you that guy, will this? It's not about moving on. I want to play with. No, it's either listen. This is two things, man. Either stay where, or become a better businessman and just sign for one or two year contracts. So that way, but bet on, bet on now you Bet on yourself. If Lamar you don't, James. now that's one thing that he's got right. And I spoke uh, yeah, about I, this. I, I gotta get, I gotta got, get Lamar. In. He got that right. Take yeah. the little short deals. I'm gonna bet on myself. Bet on myself. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a so that train, way, I'm nobody's a, gonna lock me. Nobody's gonna lock me into a situation. And I might be in a, in, a, in a situation. No, I'm not gonna lock myself into a situation. But, I'll be able to make move freely. But you see how sports has moved in, in, in the chains. How remember like back in the days with with baseball and things like that, yo, lock them up 10 year, a 10 year, you know, long term. And I never I never understood that because that was the dumbest thing as well. To lock somebody up in 10 year deals. Right. Because the guy, what you you're paying for yesteryear, you're not paying for for what's come what's to come because he's not the same person. From yesteryear, so that I don't even understand. Why would you sign? You lock Albert Pujols up for at forty five? He's not the same. He's not the same production you got at twenty three or twenty. You said nothing about Kobe Bryant either. No, we didn't have to. We didn't have to say it because he 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 played for free, and then he he decided to get his money on the back end, and then he he got he got hurt. Achilles blew out. So again, what sense does it make? Now I'm talking from a I'm talking from an owner's perspective. If I was owning a team, what right. sense does it make to lock in, lock up a player for all that time? Because he's not when he gets on the back end of his career, he's not the same player, and you pay all that money. 
I'm looking at it from a Nick fan for how many times they they, they got old players on the back end and paid them all that money, and then we locked in. When it's time to go get somebody, we locked into this guy. You can't move. You're financially handcuffed. That is that. that, and, that and I would like to vote in that the NBA brings back that amnesty clause at least once every five years. Make it happen. So every, I, yeah, they, 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 the, the deals are so bad, it needs to be uh, twice. Well, <laughs> true, be, but I you mean, know, the, 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 the the, everybody, the, even, the players is not going to agree to it every two years. That's, that's why I said five I, I should got, be. You know I, I got you, but there's got to yeah. be a way because it's terrible. It's terrible management all the way around. And I, I, I don't fault the players. The play again, you, you doing. I'm talking about from, you know, as many hats. So you, I'm talking about it from the, the owner's hat. And as for a, a player, you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna go to get what you need to get. As is, if they giving it out, I'm gonna take it. But understand that you're if you you gonna take it right. just like football when you take the money. Understand what the situation is. That's all I gotta say about that, man. And it, from a fan's perspective, when when you go sign for all this money, we expect productivity to come along with it because most fans are hard workers themselves, most of them, and most of us is underpaid. You guys is overpaid. And, and you're crying. So, you know, and it's not it's not all players or whatever, but it's just, it, it, it's, it's a there's, lot, there's, it's a there's lot a of pedigree crying. that goes to that. You know what I'm saying? As a fan, yeah. as a fan. So. Well, they got to see that, that we're part of that, that salary equation. Right. right now, we're not even looked at as being part of the whole no. ecosystem of a team, right? So mm -hmm. billionaires don't live like us. That's the owners. And the, the dudes that, Work like us are now millionaires, and they don't live like us anymore. So oh, don't worry about it, D. Don't so, worry about it, D. You know, it, it, it's all this shit all going to change because of this COVID shit. Because they're going to be start <laughs> looking for fans to come pack the seats, and ain't nobody coming. They oh, yeah, well, understand yeah. that. So well, you, 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 they can keep it up. <laughs> it's yeah. keep it's, it up. It's it's starting already, and I, I know we're not a political show. It's starting already with the music industry. I mean the not the music the movie industry, the movie industry the movie right? can't go to the movies. They said, no. They releasing it to HBO Max and and st and stars are mad because they like, wow, I can't even get my money because oh they said for they said for one year and they said we're gonna let the people dictate what it is if we want to go back or we want to watch it in the confines of our own house. So oh, you know what you listen, NBA listen. Pl players and you athletes out here that take us for granted, y'all gonna see real quick. Y'all well, gonna know. see. The, well, well, it's unfortunate uh, when we talk that way from a sports perspective because the athletes in most of these sports are not immediately impacted by fan dollars. No. The, well, the ones that are impacted by the fans' money are the owners because those, mm -hmm. you know, the people that come to the stadium or don't, that immediately goes into the owner because the owners may still be paying on the fucking stadium. They sure. still got the stadium on layaway, right? But if ain't nobody coming in there, they can't finish paying off the layaway on the stadium because ain't nobody in there, right? Ain't so- no, Ain't no Santa Claus come for uh -uh, the uh -uh, kids. New way. You know, so like we, we would joke about say uh, uh, Dallas. You know, Dallas money, only a piece of it for that type of stadium for all the things that are in there, only a piece of that came from football. So he would have like five, 10 big concerts a year in there. You know, some Mexican um, 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 events. Soccer, soccer games. And yeah, soccer games. And then he would also have two or three boxing matches. Yeah. The, Jerry can't college, have none of that. College football. Yeah, Jerry can't have none of that this year in there. So I'm not going to get on the football players for it because, or any athlete. Right. But that's the, that's the first place where the dollars hit the sports market is the, the owners. And then from there, you add that money to whatever's being uh, uh, lost in uh, uh, revenues for marketing, so forth and so on. <clears throat> then things get kind of dicey. And right. that's why you had the, what happened in the bubble this year was for no other reason, folks. The stations wanted their advertising money back 
from the NBA. And the NBA said, oh, no, we'll go to the bubble so we can keep these goddamn commercials. That was it. Ding, ding. If you want the answer to the question, it's money and money. Right. That's that's your answers. So that's the right. reality is that people are gonna, you know, they're gonna have to deal with it. College football is looking at it this year, right? They 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 rolled their dice on the situation. And I know we ain't got time tonight, but college football rolled their dice on the situation that both sides lost on. So the SEC and the ACC put stands, put people in the stands at half capacity and realize at the end of the day, when they do their math, that still doesn't hurt them, help them. Mm -hmm. They could have had games with nobody there and been the same damn way, right? right? Because all you were talking about was the NCAA, as with the NBA, advertising money, man. Right, right. You know, you see the app, you want that SEC game on TV, so ESPN and CBS, is not getting in the SEC's ass because it's advertising money that we already gave to you. Mm -hmm. Kevin, as you just said, we talk and we laugh all the time. What's happening in the NHL? They told them dudes in Seattle, listen, y'all didn't even play yet. <laughs> and we need your money. Yep. We need we need 300 million from you now before y'all even uh play. Cause our pockets are fucked up, shun. I got no money. This is where we at, so, dog, and this is what it's going to come down to. Uh, by the way, real quick, the the NHL just and the NHL and the NHL Players Players Association just agreed on a 52 game schedule, starting off January 13th. And yes, they did. They got the Seattle Kraken's money. Just to let y'all know. Shout out to all my NHL. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay. NHL will start on the um, 13th of January. I, I will say this about the NHL. Um. I see baseball is starting to do it. Um, please do a better job of promoting your players. Yes. You have to do. We don't know who the fuck y'all got on these teams anymore, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you don't yeah. you don't messed up the divisions. You don't change divisions. The Atlantic is the Pacific, and the <laughs> oh, man. Yo, oh, man. You right. You yeah. right, B. I mean. You're right. You got to help the CFs out because right now I'm a CF. I'm speaking as a CF right now. Okay, you got to help us out. You got to give us a, a, a common ground to start with. And we used to be fans of the game, man. But the thing it done changed up, and the, the marketing is terrible. I mean, they not they not they not doing enough. And, for and that, we can spend but, a, you can spend a whole show on that. But that's a whole other story. That's how, another story. How, how baseball and, and the NHL could do a better job of marketing or. I don't think they've given up on, you know, mark, uh, marketing to other people because they, they play international, right? Right. So mm -hmm. they got to do a better job of, of catching because the NFL and um, the NBA have, they are constantly in your face and they're constantly on the calendar. Constantly. Calendar 24 7, eating up all your time. And I think baseball has too many games. Um, well, we said that. It, we said it, that here. Too, oh. too spread out. Um, and the reality is that. You could do it, right? But you got to look at the who and, 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 the, and the MLB. Okay, you want to give the money to JD, but have you given the had Boston given that money to Mookie two years before? Mookie would have been plastered all over the world. He's that type of personality. You got to see mm -hmm. dudes have that type of personality that want to be that and get with them, <laughs> you know. Right, with as opposed to give with Bryce Harper. Stars. Yeah, well, no, no, Bryce, Bryce is a Harper. bad man. Uh, uh, a trout. Well, Mike Trout, trout. doesn't want to be. He doesn't. There. He doesn't. He doesn't yeah. want to be. Mike there. Trout doesn't want to be. That's fine. And that's fine. So you need listen, to find somebody else. Who wants Steve Carlton didn't there. talk to anybody for twenty years. It's fine. Mem that's fine. Remember Dale Murphy with the Atlanta, which is real quiet, yeah. man, and he was a slug. Quiet cat. Right. But then you got that's Dave fine. Justice, so you can you gotta find him. Yeah, you know, because you, you know, you got the, you got to do the job. Yeah, right. You got the dudes in, in Chicago; they love it. Those cats are all wanting to be in the press. Them dudes that play yep. for the Cubs and the White Sox, Chicago, so, Atlanta, San Diego. You you got guys, man. You 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 got guys. And you can't stray away from dudes because they're not. Don't get on the MAGA side. Now I'm gonna say it. 
Yo, dog, the kids don't speak English. It's up to the rich people at these teams to figure it the fuck out. <laughs> because if you're willing to give them a check to play baseball, then you can figure out a way to get them into some ads where they're only speaking Spanish or only doing this or only doing that, right? It's not that freaking hard. That's that. It's not That's that right. hard. Not that hard. Real quick before we sign off here, before we sign off, hey, any thoughts real quick, the Kyrie LeBron thing? Um, you got one minute. Yo, why is this a story, man? Everybody and their mama has said that LeBron is not clutch. So what is the big deal? Oh, because Kyrie hasn't played since and this and that. The third. That's, again, we have to stop jumping out the window when one man has an opinion. Y'all already say that Kyrie is crazy and stupid because he thinks the world is flat. So why do you care what comes out of this man's mouth? I'm, I, I, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you, thank you, James. Um, DA? Yeah, what, 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 yeah. <laughs> D-Dub, you got one minute, man, before we sign off, man. Yo, dog, again, man, I, why do we care about what, you know, Kyrie Irving has been Kyrie Irving. I really don't care. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. They played together, he left there, we understand what what went what down. Now this guy talking about he hurt. I don't know. I'm done with all the side the shot the side show Bob uh, shows off the court. Doesn't matter to us. We're the sports chasers. We do this every other week. All right, we are here for an hour and change. We we do it listen week. to us, and we kicking game. And you know we're not dealing with, we're not dealing with these guys and they 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 their tendencies and you know they. The, the emotional side, I mean, we're not dealing with that. We're dealing with what's on the court, period. And this is not a not this is a non-story to me, and I really don't care. I think I went over a minute. So oh, okay. with that being said. All right. Um, shout out to Mike Mills. He couldn't be with us tonight. Um, me and him right, got, uh, we got a little schedule to mix up. Mike, we love you, bro. Hold it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're down set. We're down set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yo, Kev though, what, what, what's your what's your take on it? Yeah. Um, did you and Mike? Not... Did you and Michael get into a fight? Uh, did you? Yeah, you uh, try to take it out on me. Yeah. You you try yeah, to mute yeah, me yeah. for for two sessions and whatnot. Yeah, what's really yeah, good, yeah. man? Nah, nah. What, what's what, what's really uh, good though? Uh, uh, Kev, uh, talk to uh, us, uh, man. Talk to the uh, people, uh, man. What you got, man? I I I really don't have none. I'm just like, why are we talking about this? It's he said what he said. He went he went on a podcast, right? What I believe he went on he went on Richard Jefferson's podcast and. They brought it up and LeBron was upset or whatever the case may be. Uh, My thing is what? with sports, with sports. Yo, man, yo, just pick up the phone and go talk to the guy, man. Why must we air it out and all this stuff? But I but, I get it. I I, get, I I get it. Go ahead, DA. Go ahead. These guys ain't real men like that, man. No, they don't, they don't not, do this stuff can, like- Can I ask a question? Because a lot of times, like, the, the way the news positions this shit is fucked up, right? So. I don't even know. We don't know when this dude said this shit. Right. It's just the fact that the the, the broad heard it now and now he's hurt by it. Or whatever he is mm -hmm. by it. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, if, if this guy's in the podcast eight months ago and he said something and now you bring it up now, then shame on the news, man. Yeah. Shame We're on not, the fucking news. Because you're not giving it context. Up, yeah, this dude said something eight months ago and now you're jumping out the window about what Le LeBron said he was hurt by and now that side of it I got a lot of things to say but I'm not gonna say nope 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 no 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 we could be found nope. on yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah there you go hey hey this is usually Michael's um, um thing yo we could be found on Twitter at uh, sports chases um podcast at twitter.com we're also on Facebook Sports Chases um, podcast on Facebook. We'll also have a YouTube um, channel, Sports, Sports Chases Ch podcast. Please like, subscribe, put your comments and down share. there and share. Love us or hate us. Do um, that thumbs up shit they do. Thumb, thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, kid. Thumbs, thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. Hey, we're real funny tonight. Yo, also, 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 we're on SoundCloud, man. So if you can't look at us in the, on the car, I mean, you know, in the house, yo, you're in the car, yo, we on SoundCloud, 
Sport Chasers, sportschasespodcast.com. Hey, just look for us to doing some more bigger and better things, man. You know, COVID has really um, held us down. We was going to do a couple of live shows together, but, um, you know, with the COVID thing going down, you know, we got to be safe. Make sure you guys be safe. Um, hey, we got a raffle for the PS26. <laughs> Yes, yo. Yo, DA's, DA's on uh, yo, DA. tonight, kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, real quick, parting shots, man, from the fellas. Uh, uh, DA, since you got so much going on, bro, what, what, what you got for us, man? Anything, man? Hey, hey PS26 coming out right on 123rd Street, 8th Avenue. Be there at 3 p.m. in the year 2037. My grandson's grandson We'll have that for you right there. All right? You know what I'm saying? Yo, the key word, key word is big booty hoes at the go-go. Thank you. All right, this is going go -go. left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> Eric, don't beat me down, man. I love you, bro. <laughs> no doubt, man. Much love, man. Great podcast. Great show tonight, man. Love you dudes, man. Mike Millie, man. One love, man. We get you back what next week. Hopefully, Millie. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yo, man, y'all be safe out there, man. Again, like I always say, man, yo, look out for your fellow man. You know what I'm saying? Treat others the way that you want to be treated, man. And we out. Stay home. D-Dub, D -dub, what you got? Stay home, wear your mask, uh, whatever else they need you to do so we can get through this, man. It's already 2021. We in December this year has passed so fast. I think I was talking to E. I said, I feel like yesterday that Kobe Bryant died, man. This is how fast this year has went oh, and, uh, man, yeah. You know, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? This is, this has been one of the fastest years I've ever seen in my life. I mean, just quick it, this is how fast this year went. So, <laughs> you know, like house, he said, look, <laughs> I guess that's what it is, man. You've been home most of the time, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a homebody, but, um, you know, this is a little bit extreme, you know, even for the homebody sometimes, but you know, Hey, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good, man. Oh, yeah. Let me let me just say real quick, man. Yo, shout out to Carl Anthony Towns, man. Hold your head up, big dog. You, your COVID has stricken your your family, man. Yo, yeah, no doubt. out to you and everybody else that's been hit hard by this, uh, whether it's physically, mentally, all of that, man. Yo, man, we can yeah. we can get through it, man. But we got to do it together, man. And yeah, we got love on one another, man. So shout out to Carl Anthony Towns, man. Hope you do good, do good this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My part of shot is just basically, man, yo, really great show as always how we do, man. And um, I encourage those that are listening or, or this is the first time that you have listened, man. Yo, we're really passionate about what we're doing and what we're doing. We're, we're looking for bigger and better things. Um, we're looking to expand and let others hear us. Um, we really, really love what we do and we're gonna make it do what it do, what it do. Always. What it do. You know, saying when it comes to no this, doubt. when it, when it comes to the sports things, we're really passionate about it, and we just ask, yo, we don't let. Here's my thing, my soapbox for one second. Don't just hear one person's opinion about something, and that goes for anything, politics or whatever. Yo, gather up all your information, do your research, and then come to a. I forgot what it was when I was in school when you had to do your research. Maybe DA remembers. We had to do all your, what is it, quantitative, uh, whatever it is. Uh, uh, a quantitative analysis that you would like to come up with a, uh, golly gee, a consensus. He's the, four, he's the, four, he's the 4 point old guy, man. I'm the, yeah, the you, you want to, you come with your consensus, man. It's, we always saying it's the sports states is that we're one opinion. We want you to hear them all and come back with your own thoughts. We don't it. have to be right and they don't have to be wrong. We can all be wrong together. We can all be right together. As long as we're together, it's all good. All right. That's there we go. All disagree. <laughs> hey, yo, it's all good. Man, all good. man, great show, great show. Hey, man, on behalf of myself, Kevin L. Warren, your moderator, your host. Yo, uh, Des Bryant, get better, man. Word, shout out to Des Bryant, man. Shout out to Des Bryant. Anybody Bryan. else? He, he with the wrong. He's 67 years old. <laughs> kind of hard. My wife just had it. It's not a game. He, That's right. Oh, man. Hey, on behalf of myself, Kevin O'Warren, the host and moderator, Dorian D.A., all Britain, Daryl D. Dell Warren, James the Angry Warren, Warren, and Mike Millie, 
Mike Millie. Hey, and Mike. Out, man, we love you, bro. Yo, this is the Sports Chasers Podcast, man. Hey, holler back at us next week. Y'all be good. Peace. You deserve. Yo, if, 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 um, if the Ravens lose this game, Mike can no longer talk about the Ravens if they lose to the Cowboys. Right? Yo, dog. No yo, way. the Cowboys. Hey, I'm watching, and the Cowboys are playing like, like they inspired, inspired ball like, right yeah, now. Yeah, man. like they're, like they supposed to be winning. Yeah, yo. I mean, it's 17-10, but yo, they right there. Let me. Now, Every I time I looked it. up, they moving the, they moving the ball up and down. Let me, let me, let me just say this, fellas. I mean, we cracked on the NFC East like everybody else. Let these teams get hot. The NFC West, the the, the, the rest of the league don't want to see these guys, man. Cause they don't have nothing to play for. I mean, they do, but the, you know what I'm saying? Is they? Yeah. yeah, that that's what I was looking for. That's they have nothing to play for. So it's like, yo, yeah, they can squat the ball out. In. Yo, let's play. What's up? What you got? I may not be the best, but so what? I'm gonna push my chips out there. We're gonna play. Let's see right. what you got. Right. That's that's why I'm enjoying this right now. So it, it, it's it's really good. So you know, we'll see. We'll see. But the the red rifle man, he's he's rolling up and down the, the, the field. Oh, they go.